So today I am seed starting and I thought I'd just give you an overview of what my new trays look like. Now this is my old tray and it's just something I got from Lowe's with the flowers already in it. But I have several of these. I got these flowers on sale and I continue to save the trays. These I haven't emptied out yet but from the ones that I have I already have them refilled and seeds put in them because if you look at them they I mean, they, they make some pretty good size starts. Now, these are the trays that I just got in today. And I, I've been looking at Bootstrap Farmer's trays, and I noticed um, yesterday that their trays were on sale. And so I actually ended up getting, not, th not this one, because that I got from the local grocery store, but these the and all of these for... $136 and that included overnight shipping. I just ordered these yesterday and they they came here a couple hours ago. So these are the 120 plug trays and they're not very big and the reason that I got them is because it's a lot easier to put fill these with soil and here's one already filled. Fill these with soil and put a seed in the middle. And if it doesn't germinate, you're not having to worry about it. You know, I can sow 120 seeds individually, take out the plugs that germinate, and try again. It's not really wasting a large amount of soil. It's not... It's not wasting a large amount of soil. It's not wasting um, a lot of space. And I'm not having to spend that much money on pots. So these are really convenient, especially when I want to do things like start an entire tray of lettuce. Or what I really want to do right now is start an entire tray of alpine lettuce. And I have one pack of seeds that has over 75 seeds. Uh, I said lettuce. Alpine strawberries. So these are going to be really great for that. Now if you look over here at these, these are a lot smaller. And I can barely fit my finger, my index finger in there, and I don't have really big hands as it is. So these are the 200 plug trays, and again, these are great for, for small greens, starting lettuce, anything of that nature that that's going to get established and not take up a huge amount of root space right off the top. So these are really great for that, and then I can up pot them into larger trays later. But I wanted to make sure that I bought these, and the reason I waited until they're on sale because I just don't have the money to go out and spend a whole lot on trays all at once, but um, these are great because you can put your seed trays inside of them, fill this up to bottom water them, put your trays inside of them, and then it's just going to soak the water up, and I really like that, and so um, here's this tray. And it's kind of a weird angle right now. But you can see it just slides right in there. And then you just put water in the bottom. And it's going to water all your plants. The only downside is if you're like me. I actually have mine sitting outside um, in the garden under a shaded area. And so today we got like 5 inches of rain in one day. So all of my trees have to be the water dumped out. And this is one tray that I already had out there. And this part right here was full of water. Now, I got this is really cool because the bottoms just pop right out. And they just come right out no problem. And so I don't have a lot of transplant shock. The problem is this is grocery store bought and it's Burpee brand. And uh, it was $10 for this, for this. And it only holds 16 plugs. And while they're larger... It's just not worth it when I want to start a large amount. I have a pretty big project going on right now where I need to start a lot of ground cover. Um, there are a lot of areas that don't have anything covering it and a lot of areas that have grass that I need to, to choke out before it takes over. Now, the issue I have with these, the this one, is that if you look at the bottom, it grows algae pretty quickly so it's really important um if you get the burpees one to make sure you're cleaning it out regularly and and sanitizing it because yeah you don't want that growing on your starts that's really really unhealthy for them it can make them sick so but this is kind of the different size trays and if i walk you over here which so 
out here to my garden. You can actually see came in and they're quite larger so I think that would be good for tomatoes or things of that nature of course. Um, the way that our season works down here tomatoes are actually okay to replant for for fall garden. So we have a really long growing season so um, I have some 60 day tomatoes that I can get in the ground but I'm not sure that I'm going to. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to use this for. I do have some giant red mustard greens and I think that I'm going to put those in here to start them and probably start a bunch of my kills in here that way I have a lot of extra time to, uh, to get them out in the garden this year because we have a lot going on. Um, building the garden, getting the animals set it, settled in, the new school year starting for both me and my children and so it's just way too much to try and get everything in the ground as quickly as I can but if I do some of the bigger starts in here then I have plenty of time so you can see I just kind of use various pots you know when you're starting out you don't have to go and invest in a ton of stuff um, you can use what you have you know I got this one for a few dollars from a business that was closing down and so it's really it's nothing special but these are all different things that you can use I've seen a lot of people and I've actually used um, both plastic and paper cups to start things my kids have saved safe cups we've saved blueberry um, containers lettuce containers all sorts of stuff that you can use to start trays and start seeds now I should be using a seed starter mix instead I am using a potting soil <laughs> mix not because that's what I want to use or that's what I choose to use just because that is what my husband grabbed when he was already at Walmart and I said hey can you grab me some good seed starting mix and so um, if you come across that dilemma just you can go get your colander out of the kitchen um, your sifter or get a cheap sifter and just sift out the really big wood wood chips that are in there and pieces of mulch and use it as seed starter. So I prefer seed starter just because the big pieces of wood um, keep the roots from growing. I've had that happen where I'm like my seeds aren't starting and I don't know why and I'll show you why. It's because when you have small trays, these are big enough, but when you have small trays, these huge chunk of, chunks of wood keep your seeds from starting really well. You know, they kind of hinder root growth and everything else. So um, other people may feel differently, but that's how I feel about them. So I just kind of want to give you guys an overview of what the trays look like and what I use them for. And I hope that helps out.